So we started with 500 grams of chickpeas. After soaking, they doubled, soaked them overnight. And that's the first step to make the natto with the garbanzo bean. So we're going to use Instapot, put your beans in the Instapot, cover them with a few centimeters, about an inch, about a finger's length, with water. You can use any beans, we're going to try with garbanzo beans, chickpeas. Um, okay. You just normally set your Instapot to cook the beans. Um, you could do pressure cook, there's also a bean option, but we're going to do pressure cook for... 40 minutes at normal pressure and that should cook our beans enough and that's all you have to do is get your beans cooked you could do this also on a, a regular stove top in a regular pot just cook them so they're soft okay so now we got the chickpeas cooked and so we, we have to sterilize some of the equipment we're going to use so I boiled some water, I do it simply like that, I'm going to use a spoon to mix it, so pour some hot water over it, it's going to be a mixing spoon, then I'm going to, we need to sterilize a little bowl, so I'm going to use that for my natto starter, this is the natto starter I'm using, I also bought this one, and that's where I got the little spoon which is about a tenth uh, of a gram serving which is one fortieth of a teaspoon so I'm going to sterilize that spoon, sterilize this little bowl um, and I'm going to take a little bit of the hot water Actually, I'm going to let it cool for a little bit because you're not supposed to add the natto to the super hot water. In the meantime, we can look at the beans we just cooked. So, so the Instapot is done with the by itself timer. We let it the pressure go down by itself. The little valve drops. Let's poke it and see. We have to drain it a little bit. Oh yeah, we got to drain it a little bit. I'm going to drain the beans. So we don't need all that extra water. We simply drain them in the sink. They look cooked, they're breaking apart, so you want to see that they're really falling apart. If you want to double check if they're ready, they should be smushing easily. So now you want to leave them warm, once they're drained, and fully cooked, throw them back in the container that you're going to let them ferment. We're gonna do it all in the Instapot in yogurt mode. So now I put the hot beans back in here. So now we'll take our natto starter. Since we're using about half as much, we're using a, a pound of beans and each little spoon here is for two pounds of beans. I'm going to try and get about half of it. It's going to be something like that maybe. And then I'll mix it in my water real good. And you only need about say 10 milliliters of water I think I have more here 
probably have about 80 but it doesn't matter too much we made this already with black beans and you could use pretty much any bean so now we're trying with garbanzo beans so now I just swish it around make sure it's mixed well pour it in then I use my sterilized spoon give everything a good mix for a few moments don't worry if you crush some of the beans but try and mix from underneath I think that's pretty good try and even them out and again this is probably as much beans as you want um, a little less probably ideal because you want the beans to have lots of oxygen so this is probably the most you want it's about let's see this is about two three inches deep two and a half three inches deep is again the most and so now is the easy part you put the lid back on with the instapot some people take the rubber seal off I think I'll try it this time with the rubber seal off because this next part doesn't get pressurized put the lid back on you could leave the pressure relief valve off if we're not using any pressure plug it in then you're gonna hit yogurt mode normal and you're going to need to change the time to 24 hours it could be done at 18 I have opened the other one in the past I opened it a few times and it was still fine where I drained off any extra water the lid was holding and I'll just let it go and we'll see in a day um, how it's looking anyway. alright so we had it on yogurt function for 24 hours exactly we had it on normal and so now let's check it out see how it looks inside uh, chickpea and garbanzo natto. Ooh, it looks like it's a natto. Doesn't look as complete as, let's see, it's mixed, but you see that fuzzy stuff? I don't know if you got, see here, oof, it's slippery. But that's what you kind of want, you want to see that fuzzy stuff. And we got the fan going because this stuff is a little stinky. Oh, there you go, you see all that stickiness? That's the natto we want. So again, you can do this with any high protein bean, which I think is most beans. Um, so these are garbanzo, chickpeas, and there you go, 24 hours. Um, we use the same natto starter that you can use for the soybeans. And we have the fan going because it is a little stinky, especially the first release. So you might want to do it somewhere where you don't mind the stink. We're going to just put it probably in a big glass container. But if you'd like, you can use muffin pans and fill them up, freeze it, and then you have nice little frozen portions that you can take out, put in a Ziploc bag, and you can store them in the freezer long term if you only eat natto um, rarely. Um, maybe I'll give it a try, see how it tastes, and let you know. Last time we made it with the red beans, I'm going to bring those out. I have to say, it tastes very similar to the red bean natto. Here's the red bean natto. Ooh, this one's a lot more mature. You see, we made this one about four days ago. I'm going to try this one, but they taste very much the same. Mmm. Oh, well, this one, yeah, we already added mustard to this one and soy sauce so you can do that you can add a little mustard soy sauce so i guess the flavor is a little different but you see how it matures um you see it was pretty easy i know people go crazy about making it everything sterile but using the instapot i guess that eliminates a lot of the sterility surrounding that but definitely check out that part of the video where i sterilized the little bowl and the spoon but there you go um natto in the instapot so I forgot to mention that after you pack your natto, 
you should store it in the fridge um, for at least a day to let it mature um, and then go ahead and freeze it if you want to freeze it um, otherwise consume it fresh meaning by holding it in the fridge consume it within a week that's the recommendation I'm sure you can play with that and push it maybe especially if you had some, a few containers that you don't open I'm sure it would last a little longer or that's up to you but I'm pretty sure it would um, we're gonna store it in this one big container because we're going to eat it um, rather quickly probably within a week there's lots of good stuff in natto I don't know if you guys heard of natto kinase n-a-t-t-o k-i-n-a-s natto kinase that's an enzyme um, that actually has some interesting um, research behind it it's concerning the the SARS virus and how it can actually destroy um, key components of the virus and actually also help is research showing that it may help clear up blood clots and of course this isn't medical advice I'm just I'm telling you what I read but of course do your own research but that's one motivation behind me making the natto um, so there it is we're gonna store it in the fridge for a day and then eat it within a week.